Boo! Boo! <laughs> to be serious, it's Mega Mew, and it's gonna be a bid for my. It's gonna be a new series slash video today for my page and Seven Pokemaniacs. And the topic of this one is going to be a top 10 Pokemon. Uh, it's going to be top 10 Pokemon creepypastas and some weird stuff about Pokedex entries. Anyways, let's get started. On the first one, you know, Hypno, I'm sure you guys know about this terrifying kidnapper. Let's read his Pokedex entry. First, let's, uh, you know, go to it. Alright then, let's head to the Pokedex. And it also has a song, man. It's just really creepy. I guess in the old games, it also has, like, different descriptions. But let's read this one. It carries a pendulum-like device that once was that once was an incident in which it took away a child. It hypnotized. Oh, I'm pretty sure it did more than that, man. He hypnotizes them and as in to enslavement. And to uh, give more explanation on that, there's going to be a song called Hypno's Lullaby. Yeah, as I fall asleep listening to it. Okay, not really. So yeah, I guess uh. Let's get a fade away into the song. Then we're gonna go to number two, so see you guys then. Come little children, come with me. Safe and happy you will be. Away from home, now let us run. With Hypno you'll have so much fun. Oh little children, please don't cry. Hypno wouldn't hurt a fly. Be free to frolic, free to play. Come with me to my cave to stay. Oh, little children, please don't squirm. These ropes I know will hold you firm. Now look to me, the pendant calls. Back and forth your eyelids fall. Oh, little children, you cannot leave. For you, your families will grieve. Minds unraveling at the seams, allowing me to haunt their dreams. Do not wail and do not weep. It's time for you to go to sleep. Little children, you were not clever. Now you'll stay with me forever. <laughs> I'm back to number two. Alright, here's the most famous one, the Labrador Town Syndrome. There's a lot of hack games of it, rumors back then that it made kids commit suicide listening to its song. It was very weird. Damn, it seems too unreal, but you never know. Again, scary. Here's some pictures of it. And you're also going to see some footage of the hack games as well. Like Pokemon Black, Escape from Labrador Town, and more. So that's uh, Labrador Town. And I'll see you guys...
at number 3. Again, back to Labrador Town, you know the graveyard? Already having a graveyard in the kids game is too much. Promoting death to children? Come on. And there's a spirit when you go all the way to the top that kills you? Okay, not really. Yeah, but really, Nintendo? People making up rumors like the white hand buried alive and the ghost killing you? Okay, not really. Maybe. Why don't you check it out? Huh. Anyways, I'm going to show you some footage of that too. I'll see you guys at number four. Okay, now we're at number four. Okay, let's go with Gartina. This legendary first appeared in Diamond and Pearl, located in Turnback Cave. When I first seen it, I almost, uh, shut myself okay. Probably close that profanity. Anyways, moving on. I won't be too graphic. All I can say is, I know why it's called Turnback Cave. Haha, <laughs> that was bad. This place just has that creepy feel to it. Anyway, in Pokemon Platinum, it got more of its story. And it gets, again, dark. Reason why it's called Dark Matter Pokemon. Haha. <laughs> uh, the devil Pokemon. Again, bad. Anyways, let's go to part 5. Alright, next is going to be the Old Chateau. Sh sh old Chateau. The candy bar? I don't know. <laughs> Moving on. Again, another place. Introduced in Diamond and Pearl. The place is known to be Haunted, scaring a few people close by, especially Gartina. Sounds like Garden. It's the grass type gym leader. Who sometimes appears in front of the place talking about old creepy stories. And the theory had it Gartina not used to be the gym leader, but was supposed to be the girl in the house. Now the girl haunts the place. Boo! Called the Ghostbusters. Oh, that was a bad, bad one. Anyways, that that's part five. Let's go to part 6 in the top 10 list. Nor. So I'll see you guys when we're there. We have the Pokedex entry of a Dust Nor, but I do have the information on the Pokedex entry. Anyways, it's known to drag people into another dimension. Probably hell. Oh my god, Dust Nor. I don't want to go with you. <laughs> Again, moving on. Oh, boo, another ghost type. Alright, let's read it. Alright, let's read it. A dog that became a Pokemon over its grudge for being junked. It seeks a child that disowned it. Basically, it's uh, supposed to be a doll that got thrown away. It's like one of those haunted dolls, yo. It's scary. Then it got Mega Evolutions. Whoa, man. Some weird stuff. So, yep. That's going to be number 7. Now let's go to number 8. Boo, boo. Okay, it's getting old and probably getting very bad. Anyways, we're at number 8. Let's go back to the game. I'm sure you already know about the Ghost Girl in Lumio City. If not, let's go check it out. I think it's some kind of building here. Close to this place. Wherever this is. Let's go check this building. And I'll be at the second floor. Ooh, it's a, it's a weird kid. Look at my Quantra's attack is 100. What, that Venusaur's attack is off the charts? Oh, that, that's right, yo. It's a Venusaur. And let's go to the second floor. And the third floor would be like other stuff. Maybe the expert belt, I don't even know, yo. That's a different topic. We'll do that for another day. Oh my god, what is that? Who is that? The ghost girl. It's still unknown what she's about, yo. No, you're not the one. Okay. I'm terrified. But yep, that's not the only place you can find this mysterious person. God, just so creepy. I'm sure this these computers know about this stuff and like missing known comes. Anyways, that's number eight. But yeah, again, damn, that's that's creepy. And again, number nine is gonna follow up again with a 
We're actually not yet. We're still in... We're still here, yo. It's, where are we? Let's continue again with this number nine or eight. Let's go to the first floor and head over to Hotel Rishishime. Over there, she'll be at the fourth floor, I believe so. Let's use the good old taxi. And I'll probably just edit from this part and I'll see you guys there. I'm just kidding. Anyways, we're here, North Boulevard, heading over to Hotel Wasashime. I never seem to say that word right. Let's go to the fourth floor. Alright, we're here. Let's see where this weird girl is. Okay, not here. She's somewhere. Being scary. Oh my god, who is she? Don't talk to me. If you do, I won't hear the elevator. Oh my god, maybe she's the one. Anyways, that's number eight, and I'll see you guys at number nine. Hi everyone, and I'm back in the next uh, creepy pasta. Number nine will be at the Lumio station. Again, this why is Lumio so Haunted man. Anyways, the thing is going to be behind this sign over here. Something is written on the back of the timetable. I'm going to go for help. Wait in the usual place. Cryptic and and weird. That's number nine. And I'll see you guys at number ten, cause it's gonna be another Pokedex entry of Kadabra. And I think I don't have it in this Pokedex. So I'll see you guys in a few seconds. Ooh, ooh, okay, bad. Anyways, we're back to my Pokemon X. Let's go back to the Pokedex. Let's see the Pokedex entry of Kadabra. It's quite a weird one, I gotta say. We're still in the Hoenn Dex. Let's go all the way up here. There we are. Let's read it. When it uses its psychic power, it emits strong alpha waves that can ruin devices. Okay, never mind. This is the wrong Pokedex entry. Anyways, the creepy one was it was about a child that turned into Kadabra apparently with its psychic powers. The kid. It, it was very weird. I'll show you a picture of of the creepy entry. Anyways, this is my top 10 creepy pastas. Thank you for watching, everyone. Please leave a like, a comment, and subscribe if you did not. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching, everyone. And have a great rest of your day. And have a good sleep as well. <laughs>